Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. It's me, Totemo. I've been gone for a while. I'm sorry, but I'm back. And unfortunately, I've brought an echo of my own voice along with me. He's sitting right beside me. How are you doing, Tony Mo's Echo? I'm doing really good, but it's a bit too echoey in here, even for me. I'd like to apologize for the echo, guys. There's really nothing I can do about it right now. Um, the thing is, when you buy a house, the work never really ends. There's always something else you can be doing, unless you buy a house that is like 199% move-in ready, at which point you probably paid, you know, up to $200,000 or more for it, depending on where you live and the type of house you're actually buying and the size of the house. So that's really what I've been doing for the last week. We knew there was going to be a decent amount of work when we moved into the house. I was well prepared for it. And frankly, I was kind of excited about it because I am the type of person who likes to work on things. I also like the reward that comes from from being able to show friends and family our house and say, yeah, we did all that. Uh, in this instance, I actually had the help of several of my friends. My other, my friend, other Tony, Tony Woe, my good brother, um, you know, friends and friends' girlfriends came over. So we had a lot of help painting. But basically, Monday, we got the keys with the lawyer. We closed in the house around 4.30. We came here, and we just started going nonstop. And I haven't really stopped since. I think today is the first day that I woke up and didn't do some sort of work. I actually just uh, tried to get ready to record, and I finished up some cable management, threw some posters and some stuff on the wall in here, which I then realized was not nearly enough to cut the echo because I have so much more that has to go up. I have a really big, wide poster um, some art from Simon, ugh, I can never remember his last name, that's going to go on one of the walls, and I also have some soundproofing, so there's still like a lot of work to do, but that's pretty much been the last week for me. I was actually so busy, I would wake up at like 6 o'clock in the morning, um, Michelle would go to work, and then I would just work till midnight, and so I didn't really have the time to miss video games, but I think it was Thursday, I just plugged my Xbox in downstairs as we had finally gotten a lot of stuff, like tools and I cleaned up some, the paint and supplies that were all over the house, and I played Destiny for like an hour. And I was like, dude, I can't wait to get back to making content. This is killing me. I want to stream. I want to... There's so much I want to do. So we're, we're finally there. This whole week, I'm going to be working on videos. I just really hope that tonight I can do the things I need to do to get the echo out of this room. I knew it was going to be a problem. I mean, it's, it's a freshly painted room. There's nothing on the walls apart from the few posters I put up that are very small, some artwork I had some framed Star Wars uh, screen cuts that I had, and it's got hardwood floors now. So we put hardwood floors in just about every one of the rooms that had rugs, and we plan on running this new hardwood floor throughout pretty much the entire house. But that makes a lot of echo, even with the underlayment that we have. It's just houses aren't traditionally built to be recording studios, so there's a lot of work that has to go into that. But it's been, it's been fun messing around with all of that stuff. Now, I haven't forgotten about those of you guys who... Won the community challenge. I haven't forgotten about the vlog. Um, the thing about the community challenge, as I mentioned, was that I was going to get back to you guys in a couple weeks, and that's pretty much what it's going to be. Unfortunately, with moving into the house, there are just things I had to take care of financially, and I can't be making certain purchases until those things are taken care of. So October 10th, hopefully sooner, if things go well. Um, but October 10th is the date you guys should expect me to finally hit you up via email or Twitter with those codes. I'm sorry if you guys like were waiting to use that money for something, but it was prize money. I mean, it's it's free money to you regardless. So it's gonna get to you. That's just the way things came. We didn't expect to move into the house this soon. So I'm sorry that that delay happened like that, but that's all I can tell you. And hopefully, um, hopefully you're okay with that. You'll get free money either way. Once <laughs> eventually we'll get there. Um, like I mentioned with the vlog, basically there's so many questions in that vlog that I actually really liked. That what I think I'm going to do is every Saturday going forward, I'm going to get back to doing vlogs again. So, Q&A is what I meant to say. I'm going to get back to doing vlogs again, though, on Saturdays, just talking with you guys, uh, doing little update stuff. I'm still going to have stuff that's just going to be for patron people. Um, getting, you know, back into figuring out what the hell I want to do with patron. I've been changing, like, every month what I've done with that, so. Uh, but that's where I'm going to answer the Q&A stuff. I'll probably do five every weekend, every Saturday. We'll sit down and just do... Q&A with Tony Mo, so it won't really be a vlog, it'll be a Q&A, um, whatever, in a vlog format, and we'll chill out, and, uh, you know, if things go well, I'd like to do it, like, via face, you know, like, in the office, actually, so that'll be a lot of fun, I'm looking forward to doing that. In terms of content for the week, though, as we get back to things, 
what I'd really like to do is spend this week to really interact with you guys, I guess, and do a lot of community-based content that asks you guys a lot of your opinions. Um, that stuff, number one, always does well in terms of like viewer interaction, but it's a lot of fun. And considering I've been away for like a week and, I mean, you could say a week and a half, whatever you want to count, like all the weekends and stuff I was going. Um, it's just cool to hear what you guys have been up to and, you know, to get some discussion going. So I guess that's the thing I'd like to ask you guys all today is what, what have you been up to for the last week? Obviously, Destiny 2 came out just before I moved. How many of you have been enjoying that? I've been loving it to death. It's everything I could have wanted from Destiny when it comes to gameplay. The story was fun, but it was a bit all over the place. I think from a gameplay perspective, Destiny 2's campaign was incredible. Some really great set pieces, some really great combat environments. But it was just never as difficult as I wanted it to be, and the story itself was very disconnected, even as someone who knows a lot about the lore and stuff like that. So I had a, I've been having a lot of fun with Destiny 2 still. It's the open world aspect of it that really does it for me. My brother and I just having way too much fun. Can't wait to finally get to the point where my whole crew can do the raid and you know we can get into nightfalls and stuff like that. So yeah, what, what games have you guys been playing? What have you been up to? Um, Anything in specific that you're looking forward to playing in the coming months as we are now headed into that chaos? And we got like Shadow of War coming out that looks really exciting, apart from all of the awful microtransaction garbage that is going on that makes me want to boycott that game so hard. So I might not end up playing that, unfortunately. But let me know down in the comment section below. I, I, guys, I'm just in a position today where I was like, what the hell games am I going to play this week, you know? Uh, Warframe, obviously, Planes of Eidolon. We got that new 22 minutes of footage. That's pretty dope. So it's going to be a mixed bag this week. There'll definitely be some Titanfall 2 in there. There's going to be maybe a little bit of Destiny discussion, maybe some Crucible, talk a little bit about the Crucible, maybe even my first take on some weapon spotlights like I used to do back in the days of, of uh, Destiny 1. I used to do legendary weapon spotlights. So we might do some of those. Those are really fun. I'd like to do something like that for D2. So just expect a bunch of new experimental stuff with some old favorites all thrown into the mix. And then Saturday... We'll go ahead and hit up that Q&A and get some yappity yap talkity talk and expect some streaming stuff happening all week. I'm not sure if I want to stream with the Echo, so I might try and get rid of that first, but we also might just go for it because I know most of you don't really care. You just want to come hang out uh, and play games with me while I play games. So there you have it, guys. I'm back. Thank you so much for the patience. I really appreciate everybody understanding being gone for a week as a creator, as a streamer. There really is like this mental block you have where it's difficult to like disappear for a week, you know? Like honestly, I would never really consider leaving for a week for vacation. <laughs> the reason I was gone is because it was like, I have to do this. Like we want to live in this house. We want it to be comfortable and livable. We have to take care of things that the previous owner left behind. We have to fix small things. It's an older house. We have to get it up to snuff and we want it to be comfortable. We want it to be our home. We want it to feel like a home, right? So it was mandatory, but if somebody was like, you can take a week vacation to the Bahamas, I'd probably say no. I'd be like, I, honestly, my vacation is playing video games so far. You take that away from me, that's no fun. I mean, there are definitely places I like to go, like Japan and stuff like that, and there's no doubt I'll take vacations in the future. But it is, it's just a thing when you, when you develop that entrepreneurial mindset and you create work, whatever it may be, if you YouTube videos, you're an artist, you're a woodworker, you're so passionate about what you do that the idea of leaving it behind, uh, you know, brings fear of immense boredom. Like not being able to do the thing that you love so much that you focused on it enough to make it a job is, is kind of scary. It really is, you know, and you, you, it's hard to push yourself away. So I think it was healthy for me to be gone for a week and to just force myself into a mindset where I was just working on other things that were equally as important so I could come back refreshed and... The thing I have right now when I say I don't know what I want to do is that I have so many ideas, I have to pinpoint what I want to do. Bunch of discussion pieces. I was just constantly stopping and filling up my notepad with like new video ideas while I was working throughout the week. So let's keep it, let's keep things locked and loaded, right? That's what they say. Is that what IGN always says? Keep it locked and loaded right here to IGN. So keep it locked and loaded right here to gaming with me, Tony Mo. Seriously though, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you throughout the week for all sorts of goodness. And as always, remember to play smart, remember to play to challenge yourself, and remember to play without your damn echo sitting right next to you.